What's up guys, it's the new year which means new toys and McFarlane has just officially announced their new DC figure line and it's looking like these figures are gonna rock our world. The sculpts and details from the release product shots look legit AF. And there's a total of 12 figures in one vehicle all slated for release this month of January 2020. That's 13 total new items in one month. There goes my toy money. <laughs> Uh. All right, now let's go and look at the figure lineup. The first group is from the DC Rebirth comic series and consists of Batman, Superman, Batgirl, and Nightwing. The next group is based off the beloved animated series of old and consists of Superman, Batman, Harley Quinn, and Green Lantern. And the standalone figures are Hellbat, the Batman Who Laughs, Green Arrow from the TV show, and Superman Unchained Armored. And then there's the Bat Raptor vehicle, which should fit most figures in this line, maybe all, but I do have doubts about the bigger ones. Now these figures are all 7 inches in scale, which is something to keep in mind if you plan to mix them into your previous DC display. And each figure comes with its own collectible card featuring a comic image, a display stand, which is a McFarlane figure standard, and some accessories. Notably, Nightwing, Batgirl, and the Batman Who Laughs come with a collect to build, as McFarlane calls it, Batmobile, which is 7 inches total in length and has rolling wheels. So the Batmobile is mainly for display and not for figure riding, or so it seems at least. Now I'm actually really excited for these figures because the quality and details look more to my liking than the previous DC figure iterations, but I'll have to get some in hand to confirm if these pictures match the final end product, but I've always liked McFarlane figure quality so I'm pretty confident in their execution. They are my top pick to make figures based off the Amazon Prime TV show, The Boys, if figures of that show ever get made. I even told CEO Jeff Bezos that in my email when I asked him if they could make figures for that show. Video link in the upper right corner if you want to see that. Now the price for these new DC figures will range from $19.99 to $24.99 which is surprising considering the new import tariffs which has caused Hasbro to raise some of their figure prices to $21.49. So kudos to McFarlane for supply chain efficiency and keeping the prices at the standard we all expect. Now pre-orders for these bad boys should be going up later today. Walmart already has a few up now and I got my pre-orders in for the Rebirth Superman and Harley. But I'm still trying to decide which ones are must-haves now and which ones I can wait on because because 12 figures in a vehicle is a lot, especially considering the new Game Reverse Spider-Man Legends wave coming out this month too, and the various other figures that I want. Toy collecting is a complicated profession. And expensive. Anywho dudes, just wanted to give you guys a heads up on these upcoming rockin' figures, and let me know in the comments below which ones are your must-haves. Now I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell out before the month is over, so make sure you get your pre-orders in ASAP. And as always, thanks for watching, happy new year and new decade, and until the next video, peace.